Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about resident frequency and we're going to use a subwoofer for example. The symbol for resident frequency is F with the little circle underneath there. Resident frequency of an object. And it's a frequency, it's defined. And, how, and what's the easiest way to describe it? I think the easiest way to describe it is the frequency at which the object starts moving or, or talking to itself is a good way to think about it starts vibrating, that's its resident frequency. Rooms have it, objects have it, a lot of things have it, organs have it, anything that's, uh, uh, you know, an object has it. If you, you look at your subwoofer and you know it's got a gain switch knob on it, so you can control the amount of uh, current that goes into the subwoofer, which controls the movement of the driver, right? A lot of times I I go into people's rooms and I listen and I touch the subwoofer and my God, the cabinet's moving more than the driver. So we gotta be really careful here because if we get that driver pushing too hard and producing cabinet vibrations, and to test that, set a glass of water. We use lasers here in our studio, but set a glass of water on top of the subwoofer. And if, it, if it's moving like this, if you see the the water line really breaking and moving, you probably have putting too much energy into the driver. So you have to be real, real careful here because sub sound, what, what is really sub sound? It's the cabinet, the driver, and the electronics. There's three things right there that we have to get all working together. Remember, everything in electronics, everything in room acoustics, there's synergy involved. If you got a weak link in the chain, you're not gonna have good synergy for the end result. So frequency of resonance sub will, will be kind of the dividing point for the cabinet resolution. So in our studio here, we, we set the gain high enough to get output, but not to cause the cabinet to move. I think our subs are on a scale of one to 12, they're set on a six. But that doesn't matter, your situation and your subwoofer could be different. But the goal is not to get the cabinet moving enough output. If you need more output, then get more subs. But don't get the driver moving so much that you produce cabinet vibrations because vibrations, driver extension, that's all distortion. And our goal, right, is resolution. So we want to minimize distortions. And we don't want to be the cause of it. We don't want to be driving and pushing that sub so hard that the cabinet's moving, the driver's, you know, overextending. The amplifier's not gonna be a problem, but you wanna be careful. You wanna hear no cabinet res you know, vibrations, no electronics, really. You just wanna hear the driver, so. And then once the energy leave the driver, then it becomes the domain of the room. Well, what's the room? The room is one big box of distortion. So we got this box of distortion, the subwoofer, into another box of distortion. We just did a video on that, the Russian doll concept, right? Distortion inside of distortion, inside of distortion. And that's what's so frustrating for people to, to try and understand. So we get the sound energy released into the room and we get pressure and reflections. More distortions, right? So it's that doll inside of a doll. We don't need a source that's going to add to our distortion, right? And we want... In acoustic design, there's that synergy. So it works both ways. It can go against you and it can go for you if you get everything right. So be careful with that subwoofer. You know, get it? So it's outputting energy, but the cabinet's not moving. Subwoofer resident frequency. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.